<laughs> How are the devil? Oh, you! Oh, watch out for that left hook. Oh, be careful! <laughs> now, have a look at this. Hi Fi Man have sent me not one, not two, not three, but four! Yes, four sets of headphones! Now, I was going to do separate videos for them all, but I thought, nah. Let's do them all in one and compare them all. It's more fun, isn't it? So what headphones have we got? Well, we've got, what are these ones? These are the HE-R9s. Oh, and these ones are, what are these? These are the HE, H, H, E, I can just about say it. HE-400SEs. These are the Sundara close back. And these, these ones are the Diva Pros. Ooh. Right, let's have a closer look. <laughs> okay, so here they all are. Right, so they all come with the same, pretty much the same lead. Uh, you got the, this year, three and a half mil. To, is this 6.3 mil? I think it is. I think that's what it is. It looks like it's gold plated, but I'm not sure. Uh, the lead's okay. You think for the price you're paying, it would be a little bit more fancy, but it does the job. It's fine. It feels like a good lead. It's very flexible, so it does the job. But the only gripe I've got with the lead is, and you can see what I've done here. I don't know if you can see it there. There we are. Can you see how hard it is? Maybe you can see it fine. So that says R on it, and where's the left? And there's the left there. Not easy to see. Where is it? There. <laughs> so I had to keep putting my glasses on to be able to see it. Perhaps you've got better eyes than I have, you might be able to see it better. But I think they should be more prominent than the right and left. So what I did, I had to put a little bit of tape on there, a little bit of masking tape. To know that's left, and obviously that end is right. <laughs> Should have written it on my hands as well. There we are. So they all come with the same lead. Right, the first ones we got are, where they gone, where is it? The HE-R9s. Now these are quite a nice headphone actually. Um, they've got like a, this red, sort of burgundy red, I suppose it is, is it? They do pick up the fingerprints quite bad though, you can see on there. <laughs> right, so if you've got greasy hands, watch out. Uh, they look pretty cool, I, I do love the colour. Surprisingly, uh, they don't weigh a lot. Way! <laughs> they, don't, they don't weigh much. Uh, they've got this headrest here padding. It it's, looks like forks, leather, you know, fake leather. Same with around here. I think all the ear pads are very similar. And they've got this cloth upholstery here inside. Um, but they are surprisingly light considering the size of them. I was surprised how light they were. Now these, these R9s, they also come with, let me get it out of the box, hang on, here we are. They also come with, so let's have, a, let's have a look in the box. <laughs> it doesn't want to come out. Get out of there! Flipping heck! Okay, it comes with a charging cable, which is USB-C, and that is for the, uh, a Bluetooth dongle that goes with it. Dongle, dingle, dongle. And very easy to set up. You just press and hold it to turn it on. Double tap it to connect and you'll pretty much, you'll find it in connected. Very easy. I think it's got about a six hour uh, lifespan, about five or six hours. Not bad considering the size. Now it's got a DAC and an amplifier in there. Ooh, <laughs> right. Um, and it powers the headphones very well. Uh, the Bluetooth uh, is, it goes up to Aptex, is AAC, SBC, Aptex HD, and LDAC, which I was really pleased to see on there. Love a bit of LDAC, me. I don't think you can get it on, on Apple phones, though, on the Androids. Unlucky Apple users. Ha <laughs> ha! Anyway, right? But correct me if I'm wrong. Maybe you can. Uh, uh, now, I didn't use it with, the, with this one. I didn't use it with the HE R9s. I used it with the, what, the, the Divas, the Diva Pros over there. And it was very good, very clear. Uh, and uh, yeah, actually a little nice little bonus that was to have that in there. Right, just put that back. Get that 
that chuck right over there. There we go. Next up, we have we have the cheapest of the four. Okay, these are the HE four hundred SEs. And again, same type of padding, uh, slightly different colouring, obviously. And now these are open back or semi open back. I'm not sure. Uh, and these have had some good reviews uh, I've seen online. So, uh, you know, let's hope they live up to that. <laughs> <laughs> then we got the Sundara closed back. Got, I think this is made of metal. It looks like, like a wood veneer type stuff, but it's actually, I think it's metal. Again, very similar with the ear, ear pads here, the same type of material. The only difference being is the head, the head part here that goes on the head. Uh, this is metal here with plastic on the side. Feels very well made. That looks a little bit like it'd be flimsy, but actually when you, when you actually touch it, it is very strong. And you've got this part here. Now this, this actually was very comfortable to wear. And the only thing this came with is, this didn't have the Bluetooth, this had, just has the, um, the lead with it, as does, as does the, the 400 SEs. I tell you what I did like though, hang on. Let's check that over there a minute, All right, hang on. So in this one and this one, the middle bit comes out and you can use it, right, as a headphone stand. <laughs> How cool is that? <laughs> it's got a bit of plastic on the bottom. So you can use it as a headphone stand then. I quite like that. Okay, it's not the best headphone stand in the world, but um. It's all right, do you know what I mean? It saves you buying one, doesn't it? <laughs> anyway, let's pop that back in there. And last, but not least, we've got the Diva Pros. And this is, these are the ones that I use the Bluetooth with. These are open back as well. Now they look very similar to the 400 SEs, but when you look more closely, they're actually a little bit different, especially with the, the ear part. So the headrest, I think, and the sides are pretty much identical apart from the different colouring, black and silver. Okay, but if you actually look at the, the ear cup, and let's see if I can get hold of that, they are quite a bit different. So this one tends to be a bit bigger. It's got a little bit on the bottom there. You can see that's this, this is a little bit bigger as well. And this also comes with a USB-C charger. So, how do they all sound? I'm going to rate these uh, one to four and see which one comes last and which one comes first. However, in saying that, in saying that, right, there's not really a bad one amongst the bunch, you know, so I'm just rating them what I, th I personally think is the best one because I've only been using uh, one of these called, hang on a minute, Hang on a minute, I've got them over here. These Sony's XM, oh, what are they called? A W something something, something something XM2s, right? Well, these are good reviews when they come out and these were over 300 quid, I think, uh, a few, about four or five years ago. Uh, they're all right, quite bass heavy, uh, but they've had a lot of use and I, I, these, are the, these are the best ones I've got. So to be fair to, all these four headphones, to me, sounded better than these um, W something 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 XM2s. So I'm only comparing these four against each other, not against other headphones. Right, so what I'll do, I'll put the specs up here for you now. So you can see all the specs. Um, I'm not going to mention them all because there's four flipping sets of headphones. Just You can pause the video here. Have a little look at the specs, tell me what you think, and blah blah, and then unpause and move on. Or you can jog on if you want, you just have to watch the rest of it, but you're gonna miss the sound test. Oh, right. One thing I will say online uh, with these HER9s, the, it's got the rating of 60 ohms, but weirdly on the box, it's got, it's got, was it? Can you see there? 32 ohms. So online it says 60 ohms. 
on the box it says 32 ohms. I don't know. I don't know what they are. Now, I, th these are not particularly hard to drive, so maybe they are 32 ohms. Because I need to use my, um, amp my uh, headphone, um, uh, headphone on my amplifier, so on my integrated amplifier, and it drove them fine. So I don't know if they are 60 ohms. I don't know. Anyway, right, How's, let's see how they sounded. Okay, let's start off with the hgr 9s Right. <laughs> right, so they are a very light headphone. Uh, however, I didn't feel that they, they were tight enough on my head and I could hear things from outside coming through. It didn't feel like it was sat, sat tight enough on my head. I think the clamping needs to be a bit, a bit strong, just a little bit stronger uh, because, yeah, I could hear... My wife moving around the kitchen. <laughs> I was like, oh, you know. Now you'd, you'd expect that from open backs, but not so much from, you know, a closed back. Uh, yeah, it was quite a lot of sound leakage, I thought. Uh, when it came to the bass, tons of bass, like, you know, very bass heavy. However, that does affect how well the mid range and treble. The mid range is quite recessed on these, and the treble. Just rolls off slightly on the top. Um, not, I don't think these are really made for music as such. Maybe if you're into like drum, uh, crazy drum and bass, I reckon these would be good for gamers. Uh, def definitely, maybe, maybe that's what the Bluetooth attachment is for, so they could speak on it and stuff if they, when they're playing games or whatever. I'm not a gamer. I don't know. You tell me if you're a gamer. But I think these would be good for gamers, not so much for music. For music, music. Then what we're going to do next? Let's do, let's do the Sundara close backs. Now I really like these. A uh, lot better seal around the ear. Uh, I like the look of them, and they sat nice on the head. It takes a bit of. You've got to make sure you adjust this here, so that sits on your head nice. It took a little bit of taking it off, adjusting it a little bit, squeezing it back on, and getting it right. But once I got it right, it was fine. It was fine. So. The bass is not, this is not as bass heavy as these. Uh, however, the bass response is a little bit nicer, a bit warmer, a bit richer. It's got better mids and better treble. I think for music, this is a much better headphone uh, than these ones here. So thumbs up to the side. I did enjoy using these. These were nice. I did like these. Now we come to the open backs now. So what I did find, obviously, I'm not a headphone aficionado, okay? I, I normally, I've always used closed back headphones. Uh, but what you get with <coughs> open back headphones is a, a better sound stage, more detail. Um, and I did definitely found that with the both of them. I definitely found they had a bigger sound stage, more detailed, uh, just a nicer, richer sound and the closed backs. However, there are some drawbacks, as people who use uh, open backs know, drawbacks, too many backs in that sentence, isn't it, all right? <laughs> Big backity back back. And the, the, the thing with open backs is that you, everybody can hear what you're listening to, pretty much. So if you're sat in a, in a, in a living room uh, with people watching TV and you're listening to music, they're gonna hear it. Not so much with the closed backs, okay? But they are with ease. And obviously, I wouldn't advise uh, taking them on a train. You'd have people slapping you in the face. <laughs> Turn that bloody thing off! <laughs> All right. So, only really for private listening, these are. But I think they do give you a much more detailed, much bigger sound stage. They're just nicer. Uh, if you're on your own in a room with the door shut, they're great. However, they don't give so much bass. The bass is kind of lacking a little bit. However, tone controls. Now, what I find with both of them is as soon as I turn up the tone controls, the bass a little bit, by about two, maybe three dB, uh, I found that I was like, oh, I do like these. I do like these a lot. Now, let's go with the, let's have a look, with the Diva Pros. Now, the Diva Pros, we'll compare them both at the same time. Don't get me wrong, these 400 SEs 
I was really impressed with them, especially when I gave them a little bit of a bass boost. Uh, but in comparison to the Diva Pros, I thought the D Diva Pros were a little bit more detailed, a little bit more open, just a little bit. Uh, it presented the music cleaner. I'm, I'm talking minuscule amounts here, just a little bit more detail, a little bit more richer. The bass was just more pr nicer. It wasn't more bass. I think these were a little bit bassier than these. But I just think if I had to choose between the two, I'd probably go for that one there. But don't get me wrong. I think this is like 50 quid more. And if you get the Bluetooth thing, it's even more again. I think it's an extra 30 quid on top. So you're looking at, I think with the Bluetooth uh, dongle, you're looking at about 200 quid. You know, these are 130 quid. So... It's up to you, you know, do you want to spend the extra money just for a little bit better sound and a Bluetooth dongle? I don't know. I did enjoy using the Bluetooth dongle. I thought the sound was fantastic. Really good. Really impressed with it. Now, unfortunately, I can't, you know, you know I love a sound test. I, oh, I love a sound test. You know it. But how can, I haven't got one of them. Don't you know them people have them heads on a stick? <laughs> they put the headphones either side and then... I need to get one of them. How much are they? Where can I get them from? What are they called? Binaural something? <laughs> head on a stick? <laughs> Not literally a head on a stick, but you know, it's like that. You know what I mean? You know what I'm talking about, don't you? Well, some of you do, some of you may not. Probably think I'm off my nuts. So I, I can't do a sound test. However, I don't like to let my, you know, viewers down, my subscribers down. So here is a sound comparison between a washing machine and a dishwasher. Have a listen to this. So, what do you reckon? Which one do you prefer? Let me know in the comment section. <laughs> Anyway, I've got to rate these, haven't I? Oh, tough job. Well, in fourth place, for me, uh, it depends on, you know, my ears can be different. It's all these other factors you've got to take into account. It's all relative to the person listening to them. But these are my ratings. I would put these fourth. The, the HER9s come fourth. In third place, oh... Do I do a joint second or second and third? Oh, because let's have a look. So the HE400SE and the Sundara close back, I like, I like them both for different reasons. Ooh, these had a, 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 probably a better sound stage, but these just had a nice rich bass. Good trebles, nice mids. I, I don't know. It's a tough one. I, unfortunately, thinking, thinking I'm copping out here, you know. But uh, I'm going to have to put them joint second. Okay? And the winner is... Drum roll, please. <laughs> it's the Diva Pros. I loved them. I thought they were fantastic. Uh, I loved them with the Bluetooth. I loved them plugged into my hi-fi. And... Um, and they weren't, too, they, they, they weren't too difficult to drive either. And what I found with the open backs, they were, you had to turn the volume up a little bit more. But not so much with them, uh, but definitely with the 400 SEs. I had to really whack the volume up. So I wonder if you had a portable high, uh, headphone amp, you might need a pretty powerful one to drive these, uh, these 400 SEs, because I had to whack the volume right up, right up there. To get a decent volume so it took these do take a bit of power so something to be aware of now don't get me wrong for 130 quid these are a cracking pair of headphones cracking they're all good but these are <laughs> right but if if i if i had a choice you know i'd, I'd pick i pick the diva pros anyway <laughs> i've had fun doing this video i really have like 
It's nice to listen to some really good, decent headphones. I'm sure, I know there's probably much better ones out there, but I was really enjoyed listening to all of these. Had a lot of fun with them, um, with my with my mate Pete Tong. Yo, Pete, how's it going? I'll catch up with you for a coffee uh, on Saturday, mate. Okay. I'm so glad. I'm, I'm a bit nervous now. And then <laughs> just had a lot of fun listening to Pete Tong on all these headphones. Loved it. Anyway, have you got any of these? What do you think? Let me know in the comment section down below and I'll catch you <laughs> in the next one.